Welcome to Beginner Ballet. This is, I think, class number four. I think um, I might have labeled it wrong, but yes, this is class number four. Welcome back. I'm super excited to teach you guys some new stuff today to incorporate into our bar routine. Um, apart from that, if you are new here, you've ended up here accidentally, um, please go back onto my YouTube channel if you are a new at ballet, you can start from beginner ballet one and I will take you through all the steps um, on, until we're kind of here at this point. Um, other than that, I think we should get started. I will just wait a second because I see that there's more people joining, um, but I will try to keep this class as we're just gonna try to keep going. I'm gonna have to come and restart this camera at some point. But apart from that, class will be similar structure to normal. I do like to start with a kind of improv, guided improv warm up, just because I know it's not ballet, but there's a lot of things in, um, I think, contemporary dance and just non-ballet dance that actually really helps us with things that we should be thinking about and should be feeling in our body while we're doing ballet. So I will take you through that. Um, let's just get started. I have a new setup today, so um, I'm hoping everything goes well. Hopefully you have some space to dance. We will need something to hold on to at some point during the class, but apart from that, everything will be the same as usual. So just take your space. Um, just come into your own. Kind of take a breath. Hopefully you stretched a little bit before we started, but let's just do this guided improv to warm up. Don't worry if you feel absolutely ridiculous. You can either just copy what I'm doing or do your own thing. This is really just for you. Do whatever you need. I'll just give you some suggestions of things to think about as we move. Okay, great. Let's do it. Let's come into the center. Just find your uh, feet hips distance. Keep the knees neutral. Let's just roll the shoulders up and back. Distances, 
So maybe knees are together, knees are apart. Yeah, finding those different ways to move the knees. You can lift it up. You can bring yourself down through the knees. Yes, just thinking about the knees. And remember, you have the back of the knees too. Yeah, you can initiate movement from the back of the knee. Keep it down on the ground, that's fine. Just anything you need. Keep shifting the weight. Good, let's move this intention into our hips. Maybe moving left to right or in a circle. Just like the rest of the body. Follow along. You may be stretching in and out. Imagine you have a big tail that you're kind of pushing out. Around. Let's do the same thing. Try to keep the knees or one knee straight and just keep circling the hips. Yeah, maybe you feel like you're looping, but it's fine. Legs can lift off the floor. Just keep moving the hips around. Good. Let's move this intention up to the ribs. Just moving the ribs in and out. You're welcome to. Move asymmetrically, expanding through the ribs. And maybe imagining you have wings, yes. Feel the back of the ribs. And the front of the ribs, opening and closing. Back of the ribs. Yes, low wings, not yet our shoulder blades. Good, let's move this up into our shoulders. Rolling the shoulders. Let's make it asymmetrical. And just let your arms trail as the shoulders move. Now imagining that rubber band between the shoulder blades, pulling and stretching it out. Pulling, stretching that out. Good, now let's just move. Keep moving the shoulders and see how the arms fall. Yes, using the arms. But let's move this intention into our elbows. Drawing circles. Imagine there's paint on your elbow. Drawing. And keep moving the feet. Keep shifting the weight. Try to move your elbows behind you as well. As well as in front. Off our 
like, oof. Yeah, in different directions, external forces. Moving less. Not muscle. Yeah. Keep moving. Keep moving, external forces. You could do this for hours, easy, piece of cake. No effort. Keep moving, find different ways of moving. Remember to initiate from different places. And now switching. Remember last week when we were talking about the effort? Imagine your muscles are pulling the bones in your body. That's why you're moving. So find this whew, effort. No fast movements. If you lose it, that's okay. Try to find it in your whole body, in the legs, in the arms. It should feel like Imagine if you're slowly turning into stone. It's hard to move, yes. And nothing is easy. 100% effort. And same as you put the legs down. If you lose it, that's okay. Try to find it again. And let's put in five more effort, make it even harder to move. Muscles are pulling the bones in your body. And let's let it go. And just move again to that effortless feeling of moving. Feel how much easier that is. Yes, no effort, just like a plastic bag. Good, last thing I want to kind of think about as we're moving, think about sensitive skin, yes. As you move the arms, feel the wind. Or if you're wearing a baggy shirt, feel the shirt, the fabric on your skin. Be sensitive to all those elements around you, yes. Be aware, don't close yourself in. And with this intention, try to keep moving. Expanding your movements. Imagine maybe you could touch every wall around you. Yes, so you're not just hearing yourself, you're really reaching out. Reaching out. Doesn't matter what you do, just try to find the sensation of energy coming out of the limbs. Out of the limbs in any direction. Yes, opening the peripheral vision so we're not kind of stuck in ourselves. Nice, let's breathe and bring the arms up. We'll just stretch, right arm up, and left, and right, and left. Good, hands get heavy onto the head. Head is gonna come down slowly. Good, just drop over the legs. Keep the legs neutral. Let's just swing right and left. And exhale, breathe in, and let out all of that air, all of the things we expect to look like. We're just here, we're just doing it. It's fine, just let it go. Good, let's come still, stop swinging, and put our hands on the floor. We'll slowly roll back up. Try to roll one vertebrae at a time. Stretch over to the right. And keep on stretching. Feel the energy out of the arm. We'll go all the way down to the floor. Find a lunge. And just keep the energy coming out of the head and out through the legs. Front of those hips. Good. Let's bring that left leg back in and slowly roll up. And let's stretch to the left. Energy coming out of that arm. Keep the energy coming out. We'll stretch out and over the leg. 
finding your lunge on the left. Just moving forwards and back. Yeah, through the top of the head. And bring that right leg in. And stretching over the legs. Let's roll up one vertebrae at a time. And let's finish there. Okay, nice. Let's move on to our bar. Hopefully you're feeling really nice and warmed up after that warm up. Um, and yeah, let's move on. So last week we had learned our port de bras front and back in our plies. Today we're gonna add a port de bras side. So it's the same kind of concept, port de bras, we're kind of bending up and over using the arms, yeah? So when we do our port de bras side, it's kind of the same. If I'm facing front, say this hand is on the bar, I do an allonge to bring the arm up and over. You follow, you look at the hand. As the hand arrives, we look over and come up looking at the hand. We do the same away from the bar. We try to look at the hand. So we go up and over and come up. Yes, the side arm just stays there, just the top arm. You're basically doing this, but you're bending side. Yes, try to keep that arm really still in the same position so we don't ever cover our face. Yeah, keep that there. So that is our port de bras side. We're gonna try to incorporate that today. For our plie combination, same kind of basic plie that we would normally do. We start in first position. We do five, apologies, six, seven, preparation, eight. We're gonna do demi plie and two, arm comes down, three, arm comes forward and up. Ground plie, arm still doing the same thing. Six, seven, eight. We do quarter bra front, following the hip all the way down. Two, three, four, we do quarter bra back, up to go back, keeping the head turned to the side. Six, opening the arm as we come up, seven, turn to eight to the side. Same thing in second, two demi, three, four, one ground plie, just following the hand all the way down. Seven, eight. We pour the rock up and over to the side. Two, three, four. We're gonna push down into the floor. Try to find your balance there. We're gonna go away from the bar. Yes, away from the bar. Five, six, looking over the right. Seven, and we're gonna tendu into fit. We do the same thing. Two demis using the hand. Port de bras with your ground plie. We do port de bras front, two, three, four, and back, five, six. Tendu into fourth. Same thing in fourth. Two demis, one ground plie. We do port de bras side and side. Yes, just keeping the side arm there for today. We're gonna tendu after that to close first. And we finish there, yes. We'll let go of the bar, try to just balance there for a second in first position. Does that make sense? Two demis, keep following the arm. One bra plie, we do port bra front and back. In first and fifth position, we do front and back. Second and fourth position, we're gonna go side to side. Yes, alternating there. Yeah, let's do it. Remember your preparation, very important. I'll talk to you as we go. It's nice and slow, so just try to breathe and follow the arm. Okay, what's happening? Okay, we're ready. Six and seven and eight and dip and stretch and run the air. Heels down and up and put a rock. Keep the heels down on the 
let go of the bar, find your balance for a second, and nice, let's shake that out. Let's go to the left. Um, just one thing to think about as we're doing our plies, we want to kind of lift in the body, and then we want to push down into the floor to stretch. I'll talk about that more next week, but starting to try to find this opposition of pulling up as we plie, so we're not just putting all the weight down. We're really pulling up as we bend the knees. We're really pushing down into the floor to stretch. Yes, finding this opposition. We'll work on that. Let's go to the left. One thing I wanted to talk about today is bar etiquette. Um, as we're dancing at the bar, we should always turn towards the bar when we switch sides. It's just something that um, you would learn in ballet school, but if you're imagining that your bar is like a partner, yes, later when you're doing a duet, you would always turn towards your partner. You're not going to turn away from them, yes. So as we're doing bar, let's try to keep thinking about that. As we change sides, we usually try to change towards the bar. Yes, apart from that, let's just try to make sure. If you're holding your bar, you want to kind of be able to have your elbow and waist and elbow and bar in the same distance. Yes, yeah, so don't let this happen and don't let it go too far. It should kind of be the same distance. You just want to make sure that the hand is slightly front so that we're not kind of falling back. If your arms were in second position and you put it down on the bar, that's kind of where it should be, slightly in front of the body. Yeah, let's go to the left. Just some brain food. I will remind you about all of this, but just make sure we're standing not too far, not too close so the shoulder doesn't really get to form. Okay, next, let's go on to our plie on the left. Try to find that opposition as we plie, lifting in the bottom. Seven, eight, and dead. Lifting in the body, pushing down the stretch. Down. We're pushing down to find the releve, 
and we're lifting up to lower. Just try to think about that. Same on the side. Three, two, this side. Five, and the six, pushing down and pulling up. Then we're going to do three with the inside leg. Yes. Inside leg, two, three, relevant. Lifting to lower, we're going to do two slow to the side. Demi point and point, three, four and four counts, showing your demi point. Six, seven, eight. Yes, four counts to show demi on one, point, demi on three, and close. We did two slow to the side. Then we reverse. Arm is still side. Three, two, the back. Two, and three. Pushing down to rise, lifting to lower. Same to the side, head is to the front. Lifting to lower, leg goes back. We're still gonna look out towards the outside. Three, and lower, two, slow, and two, three, and four, to the side, seven, and eight. After we finish that, we'll just allonge and close separately. Yes, trying to follow the hand as we bring it down and back up. Same thing as when we do the preparation, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, a small allonge, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing, as we come down, we wanna follow the hand and finish back into place. Yeah, let's try that three tendus with a relevant front side and inside front, too slow to the side. Yeah, let's do it. Six, seven, Um, like coup d'etat, 
Um, we're going to learn coup de pieds. Coup de pied becomes passe later on, yes, so learning our coup de pied nice and cleanly is going to really help with the rest of our technique. So to do a coup de pied front, your working leg, toes go above that, you know that big bone there on your ankle? The toes go right above that ankle bone. Yes, if you look from the side, you want to have your knee out. Yes, if your tummy side is here, you want to keep that knee there. Toes just come in in front of the ankle. Just making sure that our foot is pointed. We want to keep that working heel forward. Forward, yes, away from the leg. Don't let that happen. Don't rest your foot on. Yes, I like to call that banana foot. I don't know why. You want to have that heel forward. Just the toes are on that, just above that bone. Yes, that is how we do our coup de pied front. To do our coup de pied back, knee is the same. Just move your leg to the back of the leg. So it's the same height. Your, this time your heel will be resting on kind of your lower calf. Toes are going to be out away from the leg. Yes, don't have that foot scratch. Keep those toes back away from the leg. So this is our coup de pied front, coup de pied back. Yes, exact same height. Just one is front, just above the ankle bone. One is back, lower calf. Yeah, we're just going to try four of those. This is the combination. We'll keep the arm down. Just preparing five, six, seven, eight. We'll keep the head to the right, on the right side. Yes. So front foot is going to come up to coup de pied one and close and two close to fifth and three close to fifth fourth one we're going to come through the middle to change back and close same to the back and two closing into fifth closing into fifth through the middle close front we're going to repeat that one more time yeah it's pretty slow so just try to make those really exact, coming to the exact same place every time, lifting through the body to close back, yes, or else there's not enough space to put your leg down. When you lift through the hips, you have to make space to put that leg back into fifth position. Yes, our upper body is going to be nice and tall, just don't let that relax. Yeah, keep that elbow, keep the chest up, keep the head nice and proud, just the foot working. Yes, we'll do that on the right. Um, yeah, let's do it on the right. We'll stop before we go left. Yes, four coup de pieds to the front. Three, four of them goes up and over to close back. We reverse. We're going to repeat it one more time. Yes. Um, apart from that, try to just keep this nice and clean. Yes, this foot is really brushing along the other foot, along the ankle. So don't let that happen. Yes, don't let it disconnect. Keep that leg just coming straight up and down. The most direct way. Yeah, maybe thinking if you're... Hold your knee up, up and down. Yeah, the foot kind of just follows along, so try not to add any extra movements in there. Let's do it. Starting in fifth. Ready. One more time. Keep lifting in the bottom. 
the jeté and the air. Let's do it same combination I'll talk to you as we go, just lifting the foot 45, 25 degrees. Yes. Six, seven, Legs are kind of just going to move in the different directions. 
Yeah, let's just try it. Obviously, it's our first time doing them, but just think coup de pied out, close, coup de pied out, close, down, flip, pay, close, down, flip, pay. Yeah, let's try six, seven, eight. Our normal preparation. I'll talk to you as we go. 
Let's do it. Starting at first. Yeah, this is the tempo. It's a little fast. 
I think we can do it. It's just the toes. One, two, three, four, seven. Fifth, fifth, eight, eight, seven, eight, 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 eight. Stretch the hands. Yes, repeating. We're gonna try it four times. Don't worry if you mess up, just keep on jumping. Try to catch up. I'll talk to you as we go. Yes, just remembering first time, we always, first time close the right foot front, second time we close the left foot front. We're gonna try to do it four times. Yes. We're gonna restart from the beginning. So closing right again and then left again. One breath, last push for the class. Just trying to point the feet and keep the upper body tall. Four and first, four and second. for joining me today I hope you enjoyed the class um, I am uploading it here because I've had some issues with my internet um, so yes hopefully you're able to find this class otherwise I will be back next Friday um, I might switch into just posting these onto YouTube instead of doing the live feeds just because my internet is way too unstable um, so yes I will keep you guys updated other than that thank you for dancing with me today and make sure you practice, practice, practice. It really does make a difference. Great. Bye.